Welcome to what many call the greatest setting in college football. Husky Stadium in Seattle settled nicely between the Cascades and the Olympic Mountains, and it doesn't get much better or much louder than this. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Arkansas State Red Wolves, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Washington Huskies. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. to try to boot it deep to get things started. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. So the Arkansas State Red Wolves offense will get the first crack at it here. And there he is. When you have a guy like this, you don't mind building your attack around the running game, guys. And he's a grown man. There's no doubt about it. This offense runs through him. Everybody gets their emotion, and everything is built on him and around him. And everybody knows this guy's going to touch the football, and still, the defenses can't stop him. He can run through tackles and make big things happen. They'll leave it with him. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. Looking downfield, it's Rainer. He's got his man. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. That can be a momentum builder to convert your first third down and also get your quarterback in a rhythm throwing the slant. That's so nice. You always want to do that. You want to start the game in a good rhythm, get your quarterback comfortable. Slants are easy timing routes. Get a first down. Now maybe open it up even more. Right back to the well. Still on his feet at the 45. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Red Wolves want to pick up the tempo. Leaves it with the back. The ball is out behind the line. The defense snatches it, and they're going the other way. As a defender, you dream about those big hits. You, you work hard on it in practice, closing space, getting close, and just sticking that guy and causing the fumble. Offense set on first down. He's looking to throw it. Pulls it in. It's Coleman. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Nice patience by the quarterback here working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. Wide receiver shows motion. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Quick pass on the jet motion. Into the house. Touchdown, Husky. Offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. It takes advantage of great field position. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7 0 to start this one. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. On the run, it's Cross. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. 
They'll go to the ground. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Quarterback now. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard. And he did. And often is good, too. The most you can get to him, but great job by the defense rushing the quarterback, understanding pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. And the Red Wolves will bring the punt team onto the field. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Fair catch called for and made. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? Grabs it at the 25-inch stride. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Huskies! And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Dropping back, it's Rayner. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free, and fourth down is coming up. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. The offense set for a first down play. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Offense gets set for second down. The lone back's got it. They could have used a little bit more there. Pick up a three. It's third and seven. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. The short hands. It's Coleman. And Shore tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Washington sends out the punt team. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Give to the running back. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. And they can't make the connection. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. Takes the handoff. It's cross. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Washington has the lead. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on.
Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Running back searching for a hole. Breaks the tackle. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Looking to throw, it's Rayner. He makes the connection. Oh, he got loose. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Open space at the 25. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. The Red Wolves headed quickly to the line. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Caught. No chance to run, but they still move it forward. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go, whether you're running a hitch like this right here, I gotta find a way to push off the or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give on the inside. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. Wide receiver's going to get a shot at it on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the D deny them on second and goal. Well, when you get down here inside the red zone, you've got to be able to run the football. And it's one thing to do it conventionally, but I like the idea of mixing it up and trying to go jet sweep. So loud it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. Trying to punch it in. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Red Bulls! And the offense finds a way to cut into this lead, but they still have plenty of work to do. They do, but that's a big score. You don't want to get late and start getting in the second half where you're fighting to come back by so many points. So a great job getting points, get that momentum back on your side so you can come out and do some good things when you get the ball next time. On to attempt the try. And after the extra point, they've <laughs> cut the lead in half, down 14-7. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out the... Fires a bullet, and now it's picked off. No room to return, but no problem after making a play like that, and they'll have it at the 25. And I tell you what, when defenses play zone, all eyes are on the quarterback. You have a zone to drop to, but you're setting on the quarterback, reading his eyes. Great job by the defense, understanding the ball was coming out, breaks on the football, goes and makes the INT. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. Hand off from the gun. Blast his way ahead, but not much room. A pickup of one to the 24. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Gets it out fast. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. He knows the receivers. He down field. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. This offense has a second down play. On the move to his left. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. 
it's nice to have guys like this on third down, on money downs that you can go to. And you know he's going to win. Hit the gas, hit the brakes, create a little bit of separation. Nice job. Trying to pound their way in. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle. They'd love to make this short field payoff with a touchdown instead of settling for three, but it is reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Red Wolves! Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. The AT unit on the field. Right down the boulevard. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Dropping back, it's Rodgers. Quickly out to the tight end. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. He'll throw it on first down. Makes the grab. It's Hunter. They stop him just a leak or two short of the first. And man, what they can do on second down here. The offense will quickly use a timeout. They'll run play action. Going downfield for the big play. Makes a catch at the 15. Touchdown, Huskies! Reeled it in and just made the house call. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score coming on the touchdown pass from 55 yards out. Fielded in the end zone, it's Cross. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. Got his man quickly. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. He's looking to throw. It's complete on the right side. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now on first down from the 30. Scanning the field, it's Rayner. Working that left side now. My old coach said to never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, never complain. On second down, wants to throw. Unloads it left. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. And it's incomplete on third down. And the Red Wolves will try to pin them back with the punt. And the offense tries to slip in the screen. That's a good play on third and short if you can get them aggressive and a defense aggressive. But the defense sniffed it out, shut that play down before it even started. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Got his man. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Wants to throw on first down. 
Not able to hook up the air incomplete. After the misfire now on second down. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Coleman. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. And the Huskies have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. Pass is incomplete, but there is a flag beside the quarterback, and this might be a rough call. Look at the pass, pass. Defense. Defense. I know defenders hate quarterbacks and love nothing more than hitting them, but you're hitting yourself in the gut when you get a 15-yard penalty. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Throws to the wideout. Makes a connection. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business first and goal. So it's first down, but with just a few seconds, they'll try to put up a three before halftime. It's good. And now the lead's extended to the front. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. And he takes this from inside the five. Coverage team there to make the stop. They avoid disaster, and that's the end of the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin and our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Seattle for an interesting first half than you? And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's head back to the gorgeous Pacific Northwest and the fellas at UW. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. They'll open this third quarter with a run. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Leaves it with the running back. Just gets it to the 28, pickup of one. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Back to throw, it's Rodgers. And the third down pass is incomplete. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. That is a good omen for this defense. They were getting lit up in the first half. They knew something had to change. So to set the tone like this early on their opening drive of the third quarter and get a stop on third, that should really help their confidence. Looking for a productive play on first down. Hold and fire complete. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy step. To take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. They make the stop trying to pick up just a little bit of a time to get to that first down mark. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. The Red Wolves will hustle to the line. They're getting this guy lathered up. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Well, right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on. Touchdown, Arkansas State! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed.
Ready to try the point after. And the extra point pulls him to within three, 24-21. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own, so you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms and all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it, you can't measure it, and the momentum has swung to the other side. The ball scores free, and the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. Man, that's a big mistake, and listen, I'm still going to force feed my playmakers. If I'm that quarterback, I'm that OC, I'm walking over to that guy and be like, listen, it's okay. It's a little bit of a mistake. We're still going to find ways to get you the rock. You're too important to this team not to give you the football. Offense getting set for first down. To throw, it's Rainer. Firing to the right, complete. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. They're going back to the ground. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense. They're churning out positive yardage early. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. He finds his man. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the grab over the middle. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab on the left. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. And the Red Wolves come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Jackson. He's brought down quickly, minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Red Wolves! And that one will give him the lead. And this is why you consistently run the football a steady diet because you can break the long touchdown runs. Nice job breaking through the line of scrimmage, outrunning the rest, getting in for the long touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and they have a 28-24 lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it into points. Jesse, that is not a recipe for success. Good news, though, they get another chance, right? They can make amends with this drive right here. That's all that's important. You've got to execute and you've got to lock in. At the 45 on his way. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Busting big runs like this is a total team effort. Obviously, the back has to find the hole, but you got to have everybody around them doing their job to make it a good play call. And everybody around them doesn't just mean the offensive line. The receivers getting their blocks downfield is a big deal, too. It's a huge deal. We always talk about them catching passes, but blocking is so important for their responsibilities. The give to the running back from the shotgun. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? 
looking to pass. It's Rodgers. Got his man downfield. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. On first down, here comes this offense. He's going to pass. Just a short pass to the tight end. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Dialing up a second down pass play. Got it in the middle. It's Jackson. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. They'll throw it from the red zone. He's got it on the run. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. He's looking for a man on second down. Grab near the marker. It's Moore. Touchdown, Washington! They've got the lead here in the fourth. And how about this quarterback right away saying, I got to get rid of the football. There's a lot of guys near the line of scrimmage. He spits it out, and I let my receiver do the rest. Let my playmaker make me look really good. Really nice pitch and catch. And guess what? You got the lead now in the fourth quarter. This one's big to make sure they can't beat you with a field goal. And it's good, and he's got the lead up to three late. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. Got the quick completion. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved him forward just a few. And now on second down for this offense. Back to throw. It's Rainer. Released to the back. It's Cole. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the shotgun now, here's an inside get. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. After that incompletion, fourth and short now on their own side of the field, I think there's a lot of coaches in normal circumstances that would stay conservative and just... Continues to fight for yards. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. Just will this way for a couple out to the 35. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. On second down, he'll let it fly. He's got it down the middle. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. Snagged on the outside, it's Jackson. Washington sends out the punt team. And listen, that's not a surprise. Obviously, they want to throw the football on third down and try to get a first down, but it got absolutely nowhere. Great job by the defense rallying up and actually getting a tackle for a loss. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. 
Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. The Red Wolves racing to the line in the hurry up. They try to pop a run on the draw. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Caught in the backfield, it's Jackson. And they pick up just a few on that completion. They can really use a few yards here on third down because from here, it would be a 61-yard attempt. Catch open down the middle. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Trying to find his man on first down. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Quarterback empties his backfield. To the air. It's Rainer. Using the quick game. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. This crowd knows when to bring it. On second down, he's looking downfield. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. And they are coming out for what will be a huge field goal attempt. And this to tie things up in the final minute. It's good. Final minute of play all locked up, but we head into overtime. Man, that is a massive field goal. So much pressure on him. With just a couple seconds left here in the game, he knocks it through the uprights. It looks like this thing's going into overtime as long as your defense is not completely screwed this thing up. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. This one is about finding the balance between being aggressive and not being reckless, Jesse. The only way this thing works, though, if they're going to be aggressive, this offensive line has got to be able to hold up here for this QB. Yeah, because you need to take shots beyond the sticks so the clock will stop and you can save every second you have. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense, run to the ball. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys. So here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. Thanks. And it's so nice to be on defense first, to, to set the tone, to understand defense. what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go defense out and win. Just two possessions, Palmer. Like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank? It's a fumble on the play. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. As a defender, you love the big hits. And you know what the cherry on the Sunday is? When you get the big hit and force the fumble. Defense has its back against the wall as they try to extend this game and force another overtime. 
He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Back to pass. It's Rayner. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. Going up top on first down. Gets it out quickly. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Dragged down at the six after a pickup of two. Now third down, and they just don't want to move backwards to give their kicker a chance to win it in OT. He caught it. He's in. A game-winning touchdown in overtime. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. Entering post-game screen, you have four options. Stats is selected. 